Welcome to OFR. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you on how to assemble the Brimness cabinet with doors from IKEA. For this build, you need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a hammer, and a pencil. You could also use a drill with a Phillips or PosiDrive bit to speed up the assembly process. So the first step is to put these two panels into this orientation. Make sure that these two pairs of holes are in this position. Also grab two of these metal brackets and four of these screws. Now attach each bracket with two screws. It's going to look something like this. Next, grab four of the corresponding hinge pieces and eight of these screws. You'll be securing each hinge piece into these four spots. It's going to look something like this. So make sure that these hinge pieces are placed in this orientation. The screws that I point at should be facing outwards. Then simply secure the hinge pieces to the panels using two screws. Do this to all four hinge pieces. Now grab six screws and screw them into these six holes. Next, grab the bottom panel and put in this orientation. The edge where I ran my finger along should be the unfinished edge. Also grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Then attach the bottom panel and the side panel like this. Make sure that the unfinished edges of both panels are facing up. Now grab two fasteners and secure them into these two holes. Next, grab this thin wooden piece and four dowels. It doesn't matter which orientation this thin piece is in, then hammer in the four dowels into these four holes. Now attach this piece as shown. Then grab this piece and put it in this orientation. Also grab two dowels and hammer them into these two holes. Next, attach this piece like this. Now grab one fastener and secure it into this hole. Next, attach the other side panel like this.
Then grab three fasteners and secure them into these three holes. Now grab the top panel and put in this orientation. The edge where I ran my finger along should be the unfinished edge. Also grab four screws and screw them into these four holes. Then grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Now attach the top panel as shown. Next, grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Now grab the backing, the bag of nails, and the nail holder, then put the backing on like this. So now grab one nail and make sure that the top right corner is flush, then hammer the nail into this spot. You could use a nail holder to help you hammer in the nails. Next, grab another nail and make sure that the top is flush, then hammer the nail into this spot. Now go to the top left corner with one nail and make sure that the top is flush, then hammer in the nail into this spot. Now go to the bottom right corner with the nail and make sure that the side is flush, then hammer the nail into this spot. Next, with the other 26 nails, hammer them equidistant from each other all around the backing. Then grab four scratch guards and hammer them into these four spots. Now lift the cabinet up and put it against your intended wall. So for these next steps, they're only going to be for demonstration purposes of how to secure this cabinet to your wall. By the way, IKEA doesn't give you any screws to secure the cabinet, so you're going to have to buy your own. So first, you grab a pencil and make two marks in the middle of the two holes on the wall. Then move the cabinet over, and from the instructions, it says to screw two screws directly into the wall, to wherever your pencil marks are located. Personally, I'd also buy wall anchors and screw them in first to make the cabinet more stable. Next, put the cabinet back into its original place, and place this bracket on like this. Do the same thing for the other bracket as well. Then clip in this plastic cap over the bracket. Again, do the same thing to the other bracket. Now grab the two doors and put them in this orientation. Also grab four hinges and eight of these screws. Then put the hinges in like this. Now 
Next, secure all the hinges. Each hinge will need two screws. Then grab this door and slide the end of the hinge in like this. Do the same thing to the lower hinge as well. Now secure both doors by screwing in the screw. Do this for the other hinge as well. Next, repeat the same steps that you just did with the other door. Then grab two handles and four of these screws. Now secure both handles by using two screws. It's going to look something like this. Then grab these caps and insert them into these holes. This cabinet comes in two different colors, so since mine is white, I use the white caps. Next, grab eight of these shelf pins. You can place them anywhere you want on the same level, but if you're following IKEA's instructions, then insert the pins into the third holes from the top and the bottom. Then place the two shelves onto the shelf pins like this. Just make sure the finished edge is facing the front. Now grab four rubber bumpers and stick them onto these four corners. Now most likely, your doors will be uneven, so if your doors are either too high or too low, unscrew both of these screws and play around with them until they're level. This applies to all hinges. If your doors are either too deep or sticking out, unscrew this screw and play around with the depth. Again, this applies for all hinges. And if your doors are leaning too much to one side or the other, play around with this screw. Again, this applies to all hinges. After fixing your doors, check that everything opens and closes without any issues, but if you followed all these steps, then everything should work out just fine. So now you have a fully assembled Brimness cabinet with doors from IKEA. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.